and the final uh, method for uh, finding the inverse z transform is the dreaded contour integral. Actually for rational transfer functions this will turn out to be one of the easiest methods. And the formula is this, it is 1 by 2 pi j integral over c x of z, z to the n minus 1 dz, where c is a closed contour in the region of convergence and uh, the famous Cauchy residue theorem, you do not have to really evaluate this contour integral, all you need to do is this is the same as sum of the residues, uh, so residues of x of z times z to the n minus 1 evaluated at the poles encircled by C. So this is the uh, this one and as a, a formula for this if z0 is an mth order pole of x of z times z to the n minus 1, the, the residue at z equal to z0 is given by this. So this is, uh, remember x of z times z to the n minus 1 can be written as gamma z by z minus z naught to the m. All I have done is I have isolated the z minus z naught power m as separately. Remember z naught is an mth order pole, so that can be factored out. Everything that is remaining is part of gamma z. Therefore, the residue values given by of gamma z evaluated at z equal to z naught and this is nothing but z minus z naught to the m times x of z times z to the n minus 1. Again, this is consistent with what we have seen earlier. For example, if this were a first order pole, then oh, you also I also need 1 by m minus 1 factorial. Therefore, if this were a first order pole, m is 1, therefore, m minus 1 is 0 factorial, 0 factorial is 1. Again, if you put m equal to 1, you get the 0th derivative, 0th derivative means taking no derivative at all, all right. And this is no different from what we did for partial fraction expansion. All you did was you multiplied by the pole to cancel it out and then evaluated the remaining expression at the location of the pole. Therefore, if you multiply by z minus z naught to the 1, then you cancel out that simple pole and you evaluate the remaining expression at z equal to z naught. So this is no different from what we have seen earlier. So what we will do is we will illustrate this for the 
uh, 1 by 1 minus acid inverse example just to illustrate how this works. Uh, and then we will also uh, show that this indeed gives you back x of n. We will start off with this and then show that this indeed gives you x of n and for that we will invoke a result from complex variable theory.